Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this one I'll show you how you complete all of your punch cards. You can find the overview uh, at the battle pass menu. So if you go to this side on the left and click on punch cards, you'll see all 49 of them. There's one that I still have to unlock, but you need to be level 100 for this one. Uh, it's called Centurion. So whenever I reach that level, then this one will pop up as well. Let's go straight to the left. The majority of the punch cards is pretty uh, straightforward to unlock. If there's a really difficult one or something that requires a lot of grinding and you need a specific location, then I'll try to include some gameplay as well. Uh, and I will also put a link in the description down below where you can find the exact amount of times you need to do something before you complete your punch card. Uh, if anything is unclear or you have some questions, so drop them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer all of them. The first one is Survivor. For this one you need to place top 10 and you can do this in either solo, duos or squads. Then we have Victory Tour. Uh, it's winning matches in different modes. The first one is obviously solos. Then you have duo squads and team rumble, but I'm unsure what the fifth one is. So this might be a, an LTM that we get later in the season. Then there's Hoarder, simultaneously holding on to 999 of each building resource. Just make sure you have like max materials, uh, wood, stone, and metal. And then this one will pop up. Stockpile is harvesting building materials. You'll most likely get this while playing the game. I wouldn't recommend grinding for this because it's gonna take a very long time. Living off the land, gathering or consuming forest items. You can find these anywhere on the uh, map. Um, there's apples, bananas, coconuts, even peppers, but those make you walk fast, but you do consume them, so I'm guessing that those count as well. For Lumberjack, you need to destroy a whole bunch of trees. Then we have Care Package. Uh, for this one, you need to search Supply Drops. The best game mode to do this in is Team Rumble, because there are a whole lot of Supply Drops that spawn every round or every match of Team Rumble. And there are also specific areas on the map that have a Supply Drop immediately when the game starts. Then we have Luck of the Llama. Uh, for this one, you need to search Supply Llamas. And this one is very tricky, because there's a whole lot going on on the map for the areas where there's no water, so it's very difficult to spot them. And they can also be in trees and stuff. So what I recommend doing is grabbing a chopper at the authority and then just um, flying around the map until you discover one. For Balloon Buster you need to shoot down a supply drop and once again the best game mode to do this in is Team Rumble. Then there's Finders Keepers, you need to search a rare chest. These can be difficult to spot but in my opinion there are more of them than there were last season so just walk around the map maybe you need to get into a bunch of different games and land at the same location because these chests they spawn at random spots so there's no way to guarantee that you'll find one. Munition scavenger, you need to search ammo boxes. Uh, you can also search like the ammo bags, those count as well. Treasure hunter is searching chests. Once again, these two, you'll get them while playing the game, so I wouldn't bother farming them. Enforcer, you need to eliminate players. That's a lot of damage, is dealing damage to opponents. For this one, Team Rumble is probably also the best game mode because if you farm like a lot of good weapons and you upgrade them to gold, then you don't want to end the game whenever you die, so I would recommend Team Rumble. For get off my lawn, you need to eliminate marauders. Uh, these spawn randomly. I don't think there are any marauders when the game starts, but you'll hear the, the rift sound whenever they enter the map, and then I think there's five of them. So yeah, grab a chop or grab a boat and make your way towards them and eliminate them. Like a boss, you need to eliminate henchmen. There are three locations where you can currently find henchmen. Um, you have the Fortilla, uh, the Authority, and Caddy Corner. For Weapon Whisperer, you need to make eliminations with different weapon types. This is something you'll get while playing the game. There are uh, six different weapons you can do this with. So yeah, just make sure you grab a bunch of different ones and start eliminating people. Then you also have weapon specific uh, ones. So Bullseye is making eliminations with a sniper rifle. From downtown, you need to eliminate someone that is over 150 meters away. You can do this with any weapon. You don't specifically have to do this with a sniper rifle. Thrusty sidearm requires you to make pistol eliminations. Then you need to make eliminations with explosives. I think that the only way to get a rocket launcher uh, at this point in the game is by eliminating marauders because I searched a lot of supply drops. I also searched a lot of rare chests, but I never found one. The only way I got one was by eliminating a heavy marauder. And I don't think the marauders, they spawn in Team Rumble, so you have to do this in either solo, duos, or squads. Then there's Spray and Prey, uh, eliminating opponents with an SMG. I call Shotgun, same thing goes, just make some kills with a shotgun. Lock and Load is the one for assault rifles. And then we move on to a new one, it's Pick Your Battles. Eliminated an opponent with a pickaxe. You can damage someone for 80 health with a normal weapon. As long as you make sure that the final hit is with a pickaxe, you'll unlock this one. Back on your feet requires you to revive teammates. And turn it off and on again requires you to reboot teammates. This one can be quite tricky. I think you can do this with randoms. But the thing is that whenever you play with autofill on, 
is that whenever someone dies, they most likely leave the match immediately, so you have to get a bit lucky. I got this one while I was playing with my friends. For Relin, you have to use some fishing spots, and then there's Yeehaw, it's riding a loot shark. This one can be difficult, you need to have a fishing rod, uh, throw that into the water and then wait long enough for the shark to grab it. I made a separate video on this, it's already up on my channel, so I'll leave the link to that in the description down below. Then there's Hooked, so for Reel It In you need to use fishing spots and you can also uh, get weapons from it, but for Hooked you need to actually grab some fish. Uh, it would have been nice if they switched the icons around, because it doesn't make sense that the fish ones are this one and then the other ones are just like the fishing rod. Rax the Riches is upgrading weapons, just upgrade a whole bunch of them and you'll be good to go. For Great to Gold you need to upgrade weapons to different rarities, so my recommendations would be to farm enough materials, grab a grey weapon and then upgrade it to green, blue, uh, purple and gold. Apples to Oranges requires you to side grade a weapon. I think at this point in the game you can only do that with sniper rifles, so you can uh, turn a hunting rifle into a Bolt shot. Weapons Expert requires you to get Weapon Expert with specific weapons, so you need to do this with all six different weapons in order to complete it. And you unlock this by dealing an X amount of damage with that weapon. So I think for pistols you need to deal a total of 400 damage. And you need to do all of this in a single game. If you like die or something, uh, then it doesn't count. Obviously you can die in Team Rumble, so that will be the game mode where I would advise you to do this. Streaking is very difficult. I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna complete this one because you need to make eliminations, I think, within two seconds of each other. And then there's one for two, three, four, five, and six. So for the last one, in order to complete the sponge card, you need to make six eliminations, uh, all kills being within two seconds from each other. I think that's very difficult. Then you have first, different first in the match accolades. You'll get this one by playing. Uh, the first one is the first one to land. Then you have first one to make an elimination, first one to search a chest, first one to catch a fish, uh, first one to upgrade an, uh, a weapon, and the last one is first one to search a supply drop. That was a whole lot of first one, Jesus. Then we have the missing one, which is Centurion, and you unlock this once you reach level 100. We have Bite Sized, it's completing quick challenges. You can find the quick challenges on the left here, whenever you're in the main lobby. And once you complete them, they'll automatically refresh. So if you want to, you can basically spend the entire day just completing those challenges. And you'll also level up quite fast. Most of them give 1.4k XP, but I think if you stay AFK long enough, they'll turn into 14k, so that's quite nice. Let's go back to the overview. Hey, hey wait, we skipped a couple. Oh yeah, uh, weekly challenges. This is straightforward, they, they unlock every week. I also drop challenge guys every week, so if you need help with a specific one, just check those on my channel. Double dipping is completing punch card punches, and those are like the icons that are filled in, so you can see that for some of them I only have one, and then for others I have three. Uh, you need to complete the majority of your punch cards in order to complete this punch card. So that's uh, quite useful. <laughs> then we have completionist, completing punch cards. Uh, for some, like I said, you only have to do one specific thing and you'll unlock it, but for others you have to like farm a lot. Uh, for example, catching fish, so that's gonna take a while. Uh, leave your legacies, earning legacies during season 3. These are the achievements, you can find the overview when you go to career and then... What? An update is required? I, I, I was in the middle of my video! <laughs> and we're back! The update was only 1.5 gigabytes, but it took like 30 minutes because my PlayStation also had to copy the files. Anyway, as I was saying, you can find your achievements slash legacies under the career tab. I think you need to unlock 50 of them in order to completely um, get your punch card done. So I'll include a link with all of the legacies in the description as well. Let's go back to the punch card overview. I think I forgot to mention something. Uh, where is it? So for every punch card punch that you get, you get 14,000 experience. So if you can unlock like five punches, it's five times 14,000. And for this one, you only get it once, but it's a really good way to level up. We have green is good, uh, collecting green XP coins. I made a video uh, where I showcase all the week one XP coins on the map, so make sure to check that one out if you need some help with it. And purple is precious, it's the same one, but then for the purple coins. Good manners is thanking the bus driver whenever you start a match. Uh, I, for console, you need to press the arrow down. I'm not sure what it is on PC. I think it's your emote button. 
But yeah, just thank the bus driver and you'll unlock this punch card. Give it a whirl is using a whirlpool. This was also a challenge for week one, so I'm pretty sure that most of you have unlocked this one already. You can find the whirlpools all over the map, so just swim your way over to one and make sure it launches you up and you'll unlock this punch card. Yeet is throwing an item. You can grab a mini potion, a bandage, a flopper or a slurpfish. It works with either one of them. Shake it off is a nice little reference to Taylor Swift. For this one, you need to either knock opponents or knock henchmen and you can then shake them down, revealing uh, the locations of their teammates. And this is the last one, it's called Weirdly Specific, and it is weirdly specific. You need to dance while riding a zipline in the storm. Dancing is not possible when you're actually riding the zipline, so you need to make sure that you're either at the end or the beginning of a zipline, do your emote while you're still on the ground, and then press your button to ride the zipline. And that's it, guys. 49 different punch cards, all giving you at least 14,000 experience, which is an excellent way to level up your battle pass and unlocking all the rewards. So yeah, if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comment section down below. If my video helped you, feel free to subscribe because I drop a lot more stuff like this. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you at the next one. Peace!